What's up? Happy Monday. Uh, my name is Eden Marcel, and this week's topic on FTM Transtastic is free topic. So I can say whatever I want. Dangerous. Um, and or I don't know. Um, geez, what was I gonna talk about? Um, I was super excited to have a free topic week. Um, because then I, 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 you know, like, wouldn't have to think about dysphoria, which is rad. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so I was planning on talking about mental health. Um, it's, I feel as if it's a very important topic. Um, I definitely struggle with my mental health, uh, more often than not, but not as often as I used to when I was having a lot more problems and I didn't have the tools to cope with what was going on. Um, so I have bipolar disorder. Um, I get into deep depressions. Um, in deep in a deep depressive state which I like to call the abyss uh, which is just where like it's just like tunnel vision it's just nothing but darkness it's like it's a boundless void like it's just you know like it's infinite and it sucks because in that place like I feel so helpless and really hopeless um, misunderstood and and just like by others and not only by others but more so myself um i really haven't had any manic episodes lately um but when i did they were pretty intense like i know i can i can have a manic episode to where i black out and that's pretty much it um what else? Yeah, so I don't I don't drink, um, which definitely has helped me out a lot more. Uh, there was a period where I just was sober for two years, um, just because I wanted to start medication and really start taking care of myself, and then I got super depressed and <laughs> just like started diving back into the to the pool full of liquor, I definitely did dive in. But, uh, yeah, um, definitely that never helps with anything, <laughs> um, besides a good time. Um, but no, really. So, yeah, I don't know, I, I felt as if, um, mental health is very important to talk about, and I'm just wondering how, um, or if anyone else struggles with their mental health, whether it be just, like, depression and or just whatever it is. I mean, like, so many ranges of m mental health and, like, you know, um, emotional disorders or, like, mood disorders. So, yeah, um, I just wanted to speak about how mental health has affected my life, um, and not only just through, like, through all my years, but through, through all my years of, like, really coming to know myself, um, and transitioning. So I know when I was younger... Um, I was super depressed, there's no doubt about it, um, there were several instances where, you know, I, I tried, like, self-harm, um, and just didn't really say anything about it. I feel like a lot, this wind sounds like someone's screaming right now, it's windy in Oakland, y'all, um, but I feel as if, like, those those issues, like, in my younger years had to do with me coming to terms with my, my, my identity, like, finding myself and knowing who, like, I was and or, like, am or could be, will be, you know, in the future, um, that it just, like, it, it really ate away at me because I wasn't willing to accept what was going on. Plus, like, I just, I felt like there was something all already wrong with me 
um, in general because I wasn't doing well in school, which definitely had to do a lot with the, with my depression and things that were going on at home and uh, just, you know, negative ways that I had felt about myself. Um, as I got older, I definitely, like, I got more into substances. Um, I guess in a way I was still just trying to cope and figure it out in some way. Uh, not in the most constructive ways, but definitely in more destructive ways. Um, but yeah, like, it's just like really weird. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, it's very strange and like interesting how, like, how like my my depressive states and or just like my my moods um would like fluctuate throughout the years based on how I was presenting myself uh so when I started like I'd always presented more masculine and androgynous I'm still androgynous I think so but you know um but when I really started like acting more like myself um it definitely made me feel a lot better i got a little bit more confident um a little less shy and or just like uh insecure was able to be a little bit more vulnerable as well um which was very it was it was like really nice but um so up until the point when i came out like officially to myself as trans and to others um so it was about it was like a couple years ago and during that time i was in a relationship um throughout that relationship it was there was this conversation of like well are you a boy or are you a girl do you want to be a boy like you know like <laughs> so i would just say no no because i you know, d didn't allow myself to be vulnerable or, like, want to complicate things or, like, make someone feel weird or, you know, and just still trying to figure it out myself and, like, you know, say yes to myself before I could say yes to anybody else. And I'm not a boy or a girl. So that's, I mean, like, so that's pretty non-applicable now, which is, like, that's great. Um, but, yeah, so those you know, gender conversations would come up and I would feel really uncomfortable and pressured and that just made me kind of tuck, tuck away, um, I guess you could say in my Kinsarian shell. Um, but really I would, I would start to hide myself from others as well as from me. Uh, and I got really depressed. It was probably one of the darkest hours that I've had in my life, um, but I had some time to think about everything that had been going on, like what was going on with myself, uh, different situations that I was in, um, and when everything was said and done, and I, you know, got into therapy, um, I did some other things along the way, and I figured out, or just, like, someone else made these tools accessible to me so I'd know how to cope. Or, like, things that I can pull from my toolkit to help me out whenever I'm acting a certain type of way um, that might seem out of the ordinary, which is really rad. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I totally just ramble this video is going to be 10 minutes listen if you want to don't listen it's whatever but yeah if you want to talk more about um mental health and just like the mental health stigma uh hit me up or just like you know like have a conversation just leave it in the comments i mean what you have to say can help someone else out you know but uh yeah all right well i hope you have an awesome week grind hard get that bag and have fun on the weekend all right thanks for watching